Hello, thanks for joining me. I'm Luke Bouchard, and this is today's Forgiveness Declaration, Card Draw, and Reduction. I forgive myself for believing that I don't have time to meditate. Okay, let's see what I wrote about this. Connecting with spirit keeps us out of the battleground, our separation from God, and it helps us see past the veil, what blocks our connection to God. Now this is what the quote I pulled from the Course Miracles. <clears throat> the miracle comes quietly into the mind that stops an instant and is still. It reaches gently from that quiet time and from the mind it healed in quiet then to other minds to share its quietness. And they will join in doing nothing to prevent its radiant extension back into the mind which caused all minds to be. Born out of sharing, there could be no pause in time to cause the miracle delay in hastening to all un unquiet minds and bringing them an instant stillness when the memory of God returns to them. Their own remembering is quiet now, and what has come to take its place will not be wholly unremembered afterwards. Okay, so what do I want to add to this? Well, meditating is one way how we come into the here and now, and it is, it is our way of actually connecting with God. And even if you're not spiritual, there is a ton of research showing how important meditation is on being able to just manage your emotional regularity in a lot better way. So if you don't think you have time to meditate, what you're really saying is, is that you don't have time for God and that you don't have time to connect and you don't have time to be still. And if you really don't think you have time to meditate, that's a problem because, you know, it's it doesn't have to be hours. It doesn't have to be half an hour. I meditate. I start my day. After I do my Course in Miracles reading, I do a 15-minute meditation as a devotion to God and to connect. And, and it is this idea that we don't have time really suggests that we're in panic or we're in scarcity, that we're not going to have enough, and that we have to effort and do. And it, it is, as you'll often hear me say, the trappings of the ego that is talking. You have not, 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 got shit to do, got stuff to do, got the stuff to do, and oh, I don't have time to meditate. Well, it's not true. It's it's it can be five minutes out of you know twenty four hours, or I encourage you to do a bit more, whatever works for you. But stop coming to center, so that you can actually enjoy the peace of mind that comes with it, and have a better correct connection to God, and and listen to what is actually being told to you with that small voice, and not the rancoring of the of the ego. Now this image. I shot it at our Valley Zoo, or the zoo, and uh, I, I, I like this because you have the snowy owl here that is, uh, looks like it has one eye open, and uh, which is really not a meditative state. It's kind of, it's still watching and whatnot. And uh, I, I, I can relate to that of not <laughs> being able to, you know, stop and, and get impatient with my meditation, but not for a while now. Okay, well, thanks so much for watching this video. I am uh, just want to let you know that if you want your own set of forgiveness declaration cards, you can go to my website or and order them on uh, through my website. Or if you're Canadian, you can contact me via this email and you can uh, request a set and I will charge you 59 Canadian, not 59 USD. But you have to email that to me. And then, of course, there's shipping and handling on top of that for anywhere in the world. Okay, now go meditate. Take care.